Welcome back, guys. I hope you grade 10s are now ready and steady for this session. As you know, we are doing maths literacy and we're doing measurements today. So it is really cool. We're painting a soccer field, many different colors, and we're going to go on to even more questions. So if you perhaps have questions on what we have just done, maybe it's better that you ask them now before we move on and it's too far. So just make sure that you are clear and you know what is up. Hey, Hayley? Absolutely, guys. Welcome back. So we had just worked out how much paint we, well, how many meters we needed to paint the field. Now we're going to get a question which says, right, thick solid lines and the diagrams indicated where they need to be painted. If we use 250 mils of paint for every meter of marking, how much paint will be needed? And give your answer in liters. So all of a sudden we've been doing measurements and we've been doing area and all of a sudden they throw in a ratio question. Now I don't want this to throw you because guys, they're going to be asking you different skills in different sections. So you think, okay, well, I know how to do measurement, but I can't remember how to do ratio. You need to be able to do everything because they come up all over the place. So what does this tell us? Right, we know that we have 250 moles for every one meter. We also have just calculated that we need 623 meters, and we want to know how much paint do we need. Now, they want our answer in liters. So we can either convert into liters now, or we can convert into liters later. But at some point, we're going to need to convert. So I'm going to leave it as is, and I'm going to say, well, OK, how do I do this ratio? What do I do from 1 to get 623? Well, clearly I times it by 623. And I need to do the exact same thing here. So times by 623. So my sum is going to be 623 times by 250. And I'm going to get my answer. So let's get our calculator out. Right, so 623 times by 250. And I get an answer of 155,750. But I need my answer in liters. So let's convert to liters. We're going to divide by 1,000. Why 1,000? There are 1,000 milliliters in a liter. And my answer is 155,75. So 155, I'm going to just write this in. That was milliliters to show you. Then we divided by a thousand and we got our answer of 155,75 liters. Now the question said how many liters do we need? Now I'm not going to go to the shop and say to them I need three quarters of a liter. So I need to round this off to a whole number and I'm going to have to round up to 156 liters. So we always round up in this situation because we don't want any part of our field not painted. So we rather have extra paint. All right, let's move on to the next question. Right, we've got the floor plan of Greg's kitchen below and we need to answer some questions. So uh, this looks very similar to a diagram that I gave you last week. He wants to paint the kitchen blue. So. If the height of the kitchen is 2,25 meters, calculate the total wall surface area of the kitchen. Now we're looking at, this is the floor plan of his kitchen. So each one of these lines is in fact a wall with a height of 2.25 meters. So I can work out the area of every single wall individually. So basically say that this will be 5 meters times 2. Was it 2.25? 2.25. And then this will be 7.5 times 2.25. Well, the easier way of doing it is actually work out the perimeter of the entire kitchen, and then we times it by the height of the kitchen. So kind of if I had to lay it out flat. So I'm looking at the south wall and then the east wall and then et cetera, et cetera. So it's going to be 5 plus 7.5. And, and I think we did this last week. So let's quickly revise that. First of all, I need that area there. So we've got 7.5 here minus the 6 on that side. So this was 1.5 meters. And I think I've got all the other measurements. Now I need this measurement here. So 
that was five, and this is six and a half plus two meters, that's eight and a half, so this here is three comma five. So now we take our calculator out, and I'm going to work out the entire perimeter. So I'm starting, and I'm going to start over here with this four. Oops. Get the color out, I'm going to start here, and I'm going to walk around the, sh around the shape. So let's get our calculator again. Right, so we're going to start with 4 plus 3.5 plus 1.5 plus 5 plus, now let's move my calculator a little bit to do this side, 7.5 plus 2 plus another 2. Okay, it leaves me at the bottom. Right, we've got that 2 in. So now we've got six and a half, six point five, and that gives it brings me back to my x. So what is that? Thirty-two meters. So let's write that in. Our perimeter was thirty-two meters, and you can tell me that you added them all up. Right. And I'm going to now work out the area of the walls. So that's going to be my length times my breadth. Well, my length in this case is my perimeter. So that's my 32 times the height of my wall of 2,25 meters. Get our calculator out. <coughs> so we can times that by 2.25. And we get an answer of 72. And now my answer is 72 meters squared. That is what he needs to paint all the walls. The kitchen has one door measuring, and there's our measurements for our door, and two windows measuring those. Calculate the wall area that has to be painted. Now, of course, if we're painting the walls, we don't want to paint the windows or the doors. So we're going to, we have already worked out the area of the, fl of the walls. So we know we've got the area of the walls. And we need to minus the door and the two windows. So what we can do is we can do these calculations. That we know is 72 meters squared. Now, the area of my door is length times breadth. So that's 1, 5 times 2, 1. And my two windows, which are 2, 2 times by 1, 2. And we can do that all on our calculator. So let's get that out. So it was 1, 5 times 2, 1 plus 2 times right, 2.2. Let's get the calculator. Let's move the calculator rather. 2 times 2.2 times 1.2. Now, guys, please remember, if you are using the, just the normal calculator, that you need to do this in stages. And you need to press equals between every calculation so that you are actually following the BOD math rules. So that answer is 8,43. So let's write that in. 8,43. And now we can do 72 minus that. Oops. Right. So I've got 72 minus 8,43. And my answer of what needs to be painted is 63,57. And what my units? Meters squared. So we've calculated the area of the wall that needs to be painted. That's perfect. Let's move on. Right, now we've got the next question. Mrs. Sander decides to hire bathwiz to retile her bathroom floor. The scale drawing, now that is an important word. Scale drawing means that it's drawn to scales. It's just, and we did this, I think, with map work. Well, I hope that we've done it this year. Um, but we've taken our picture and it is in exact proportion of our, real, of our real bathroom. So this is illustrated alongside. What does she have in her bathroom? She's got a door, she's got a bath, and she's got a basin. The length of one small square is 20 centimeters, so that's a really important fact. The fitted wash basin and the fitted bath are illustrated in the photographs below. The area under the wash basin and the area under the bath will not be tiled. 
So there we've got our bath, our basin and our bath. And in our little picture here, they are not going to be tiled. All right, let's move to the question. What is the area n meters squared of the bathroom floor does the bath cover? So we want to know how much the bath covers. So let's go back to my drawing. Right, and I know each one of these small squares is 20 centimeters. So I'm looking for the length of the bath and the breadth of the bath. So I can see that there are three tiles that cover the bath. So one, two, three, I've added them up, so it's three times 20. Okay, so we've got that is 60 centimeters. And then working across the bath, how many squares have I got? Well, I'm going to count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine squares across. So my length is going to be nine times 20. That's 180 centimeters. Now I'm going to take that fact into my area. So they wanted our area in meter squared. So my area is length times breadth. My length of my bath was 180 centimeters, and my breadth was 60 centimeters. But remember I said to you last week, always convert your measurements first. So I want you to change these into meters first. So I'm going to write this. I really think that's really important to convert first. Because what's going to end up happening if I don't convert first is I'm going to have centimeter squared. And then it gets a little bit tricky converting from centimeter squared into meter squared. So let's make it simpler. And let's divide those both by 100 to get them into meters. So we've got 1,8 meters times by 0, 0,6 meters. And my answer to that, I need my calculator, 1,8 times by 0, 0,6, get an answer of 1, 0,8. 1, 0,8 meters squared. Have I answered the question? I have done so. Next part of the question says, calculate the area in meters squared of the bathroom floor that needs to be tiled. So now we're looking at what needs to be tiled. So we're going to do the whole floor minus the bath, which we've just calculated, and the basin. So let's put in our bath measurements because we know that. 1, 0, 8. Oops. Let's work out our floor. So I need to go back to my diagram. So you're going to have to bear with me while I find it. There you go. Right. How many tiles are in the bathroom in its entirety? So let's get a different color out. And we counted nine across there, so clearly there are 10 in total. So we've got 10 times 20, that's 200 centimeters in length. And my breadth, I've got now one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So nine times 20 there, so that's 180. I'm going to change that straight away. So we've got a 2 meter by 1.8 meters. While we've got the picture up, let's see how many are in our basin. There's one, two, three across and three down. So my basin was 60 centimeters by 60 centimeters. <laughs> it definitely looks like it's right, 60 by 60. So let's go back to our calculation. Right, what did I say my floor was? My floor was 2 meters by 1.8 meters. We're minusing that. And the basin was 60 centimeters or 0, 0,6 times 0, 0,6. So let's do these calculations one at a time. So I've got 2 times by 1.8 gives me 3.6 meters squared. Minus, I'm going to this 1, 0, 8, plus my basin, which was 0, 0,6 times 0, 0,6. I get 0, 0,36 meters squared. 
and I'm going to add those up and minus it from the 3.6. So my 0, 0,36, let's add my bath, get an answer that was 1,44, and then 3,6 minus that gave me 2,16. So 2,16 meters squared is what needs to be tiled. So I hope that you're following that whole logic. So whenever you get a question like this, kind of make little drawings for yourself to help yourself along with what you need to do. Or a little, you can write it out like I did. Let's see what the next part of the question is. Determine how many full boxes of tiles Mrs. Sandler must buy to tile her bathroom. The following information will help you with the question. Right, so we've got one box of tiles covers 1,5 meters squared. She's advised to buy 10% more tiles than she needs in order to allow for cutting of the tiles and for breakages. So let's take our calculation we've just done. So we had our area of our floor was, we said, 2,16 meters squared. That's what she needs to tell. It was 2,16, am I right? 2,16, just double checking. Right, we need an extra 10%. So I'm actually going to increase this by 10% by multiplying by 110%. Right, so let's get our calculator out. We've already got that number in there, so I can times that by 110%. Get an answer, we need 2,376. I'm going to round that off to 2,38 meters squared. Right, we know one box covers 1,5 meters. So what I need to do now is I need to say, well, one box covers 1,5 meters. How many 1,5 meters have I got in this 2,38? So I'm going to take my 2,38, divide it by 1,5 to see how many boxes I need. So I've got my answer. Right, let's clear that and get 2,38 divided by 1,5. And we see that we need 1,58 boxes. I can't have comma five, eight boxes, so I need two boxes, is what she needs. And you could have done this with kind of logic. You could have said, well, one and a half boxes. If I get two boxes, that's going to cover three meters squared, so I need two boxes. So have we answered our question? It says, determine how many full boxes of tiles she must buy to tile her bathroom. She needs two full boxes. And I think that takes us to the end of this question. So I think it might be time to take a bit of a break. Yes, let's take a bit of a break, Haley. Absolutely. And I know that you want some questions now. So guys, <laughs> send in your questions, please. Send them through fast as well. Even if you don't have questions, perhaps send something, something to show us that you're understanding. Let's put it like that. See you after the break.